Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rule the Waves 2 Italy. As always, we are at war with France. It seems like that's always. It's been almost two years of constant war. Uh, we've changed up our strategy quite a bit. Uh, a lot of raiders in Northern Europe, or all of our fleets in Northern Europe. We have raiders in West Africa, the Indian Ocean, Southeast Asia, just kind of everywhere in the Mediterranean. Uh, we just had like an engagement down here around, uh, Nice, uh, uh, raid, uh hitting, a, an enemy convoy. Um, they, uh, had a lot of heavy forces against two of our destroyers. And by that, I mean, they had six battleships and four battle cruisers against two of our destroyers. Um, but we had a fairly large naval air advantage and we were able to do some airstrikes and we hit and uh damaged one of their dreadnoughts with an air with an actual uh two torpedoes from torpedo bombers so that's the first time we've done significant damage with air uh power against naval power uh so hopefully that gives the french uh a bit of a taste of uh some some of the future, because we do have two light aircraft carriers. Now, they're very bad aircraft carriers, but they are two of them. Uh, if we, I mean, if we made one of our own aircraft carriers right now, if we went ahead and did a... Because I was looking at this. If we go ahead and we do a light aircraft carrier right now, um, which is... Yeah, it's all good. Uh, this thing has 24 aircraft, so this thing actually has... This by itself has more aircraft than both of our converted CVLs that we have right now. Um, it wouldn't actually be that expensive. It'd take a little bit to build, but it wouldn't be that expensive. Hmm. Well, we'll have to wait because we'd have to do uh, R&D on this design, and that probably cost a lot more than what we have in the bank right now. So, yeah, we'll have to wait. Either way, I think it's time we went ahead and went to the next turn. We got two months for a new heavy cruiser to come off the slips. Then we'll be able to go ahead and finish off these Corvettes. Uh, or start production on them again. We could probably just do that now, and... Yeah, I think we're good. Next turn. Dominating the seas, yes, because they're all in there. New flying boat pro prototypes are ready. So we're currently using the RE-66. Has a max speed that's 61, cruise speed 47. Range, wow, the, all these float plane, flying boats are much better. Oh yeah, the range, my god. This thing is from 1916, there hasn't been any new ones coming out. So, let's look at this. Out of all these, a flying boat needs range over everything else. I think we're going to take the Cant Z99. New torpedo bomber. Uh, the P60 or 96 is off for operational service. That's good. We sank quite a few enemy ships. We lost another sub. All right. Let's go for aircraft types. Uh, with this being the case, so that's a new torpedo bomber. Which we will go ahead and push the RE-91C as now the obsolete design. Because although the reliability is a bit poor for the new one, it does have a better range, which will be great. Firepower is a little less, but maneuver is a bit better. Toughness is a bit better. Uh, and its bomb load is just a tad lower, but not by a lot. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get the P-96 up. Flying boat replacement will be coming in soon, so that's good. Okay, let's go ahead and take you, halt construction with you, and you, and you. There we go. And then we'll resume next month. All right. And the French have gone back up to Northern Europe, as they do, as is tradition for them. Uh, and we are left with an empty med. Okay, well, next turn. 
Condenser Trouble. The enough of peace, but Conditioner Hearts for us. We will, not they, we will not lay down our arms. We will continue fighting. Another sub loss, but we sank two of them. Uh, German battlecruiser Moltke has been sunk. God damn, when did the French get so good? Uh, this is a cruiser battle. We will decline that. Okay. All right, you're about ready. So we'll resume construction on you and resume on you. And the new cruiser will be done next month, as well as a new dreadnought. We'll start production back up of these subs. All right, we are blockaded again, but that happens every other month. So let's keep going. Next turn. Yes. God damn the army. Okay, a lot of research above water torpedo tubes. Okay, so above water torpedo tubes on all ships. Submarine is torpedoed another French Corvette. And we lost one of our light cruisers because it uh, had to go to a neutral port and is uh, due to lack of fuel. Okay. Sank another... It's another good raiding season. Another good raiding month. Every other month is a good raiding month for us. Uh, British uh, battle cruiser Queen Mary has been sunk. Uh, but Germany adds quite a few VP this month. That's good. Convoy attack. We'll accept that. They decline. Okay. All right. With the new cr battle cruiser, or no, with the new cr uh, heavy cruiser out of the slips, we we'll resume construction on these corvettes and on these subs and these subs and accelerate. Production on you. And we'll wait two months and then start production on the new battle cruiser again. And I think we'll be okay. So. Yeah. Hmm. Another month. Another, another month in the war. New subs are out. Yes. New flying boats ready for service. Lost sub. Convoy attack. We will accept this. They decline. Small engagement. Small engagement. Okay, it says small engagement, so it's going to be very limited. We'll see what we see. We'll see what we see. They decline. Small engagement. We'll accept this one as well. They decline. Enemy coastal raid. Enemy coastal raid. Decline that one. Okay, that was a good point turn for us. Uh, okay. Yeah, you've got three more months and then you're ready to go for the Elba. Well, runs for you. Doing okay. All of our coastal subs are gone. They, they've they just been destroyed over the last couple of months. So that's okay, actually. I'm okay with that. Alright. Got a thousand. Spare... We'll go another month. It's not a lot we can do. We just got to keep going. We're, we're, we're beating them back. We're, we're getting points every couple of turns. Every couple of turns, we're getting some points, and we just keep building that up. And yeah, that's all we really can do. Looks like the British actually now have their light cruisers out. Or not light cruisers, light carriers out. Definitely whittling away the light forces of the French. That's that's working, but their big forces are the problem. Again, 
Yes, some VP because they're dominating seas around things. Another sub's been commissioned. Spleez has got condenser trouble. Improves HAA. We knocked out two of their subs that turn, so that was good. French Corvette's gone. Germany adds more VP to the pool. Coastal Raid. Accept. Okay, we got some German friendlies coming in here. So now we have the Stephen Walker and then two battle cruisers from the Germans. Okay. We're hitting up this place. This is a, a Ferdent hunting ground. Sella, go ahead and give yourself that. Core line ahead, yes. All right, going over here. I want the German battle cruisers to follow me. And how are these looking in terms of battle cruisers? 14-inch guns, 12-inch belt armor, max speed 27 knots. Very good. These are really good. Both the same. All right. Let's see if we can sink a French heavy. That would be nice. Okay, and it's the middle of noon, so we don't have to worry about nightfall. We go in here, see what we see, go up, and back down. And we do like a figure eight, like we've done before. Hopefully we don't encounter another damn submarine. That would be really bad. Okay, we got transport. Transport, far range. Good, let's make some noise. Let's draw out their forces. Okay. Did it give up? No, it's it's fighting. Which is probably the stupidest fucking thing I've ever seen. Alright, we hit them. And I mean they're they're basically dead at this point. They're sinking. Okay. The light forces are catching back up. Let's go to a cruising speed. You don't need to hit the guy anymore. He's he is sinking, guys. Okay, that was them. That was that was our friendlies launching a torpedo. He's down. Yes, go ahead and pick up survivors while you can. Okay. Let's keep going, see what we see. They'll be catching up soon. It says CV. I doubt it. Yep, that's transport, long range. That's ship coming at high speed this direction. Some seven inch coastal batteries. I mean, they're trying to shoot at us. Eve's 2 crew is abandoning that transport. Let's move this direction. I don't want to get hit by that coastal battery. These are destroyers. I want our light forces to come down here and start hitting these things. Oh yeah, that's a light cruiser. I want to hit these boys. Yes, we achieved the objective, but that doesn't mean that we're going to stop. I want to hurt them. Badly. Okay, German battlecruisers who have a high top speed. 
We'll move to cut these forces off while the Stephen Walker and her forces move out to box them in. They have one little pass here they've got to go through, but that's some fine maneuvering they'll have to do. Doesn't look like they're willing to take that chance. And there goes Nightfall. All right. Let's keep going here. There's got to be something else down here for the objective marker to stay. Okay. Go ahead and double back. Maybe they went into this channel and are come back out at some point. All right. Oh, there they are. Yep, I was right. Okay, we're trying to not get caught by some torpedo fire. So where did they go, damn it? Go cruising speed. Oh, nope, there they are. Have to go in this direction at fast speeds. That destroyer will catch them. Okay. Again, quickly changing our heading every single turn. Every single turn, change direction. Stephen Walker got hit by a fucking torpedo. I'm changing directions as fast as I can. Oh my god, hit that fucking light cruiser. Okay, how, how bad is the walker? Flooding's pretty bad. So, cruising speed. Go to 11 knots and start our way out. Okay, avoiding torpedoes. Okay, we hit we hit that light cruiser enough. He's dead. Steam Walker's still at three, two, two, three, two, two. Three, eleven. to stay flooding is going up we are limiting the flooding come on right, six sixty forty nine Oh, it's cutting it close. 
49. 17. It's got 855. Zero. Whoo. Okay. And we're out. I always hate engagements at night with light forces. It's like a, it's like a crapshoot. Don't even know where that torpedo came from. Uh, the important thing is we didn't lose any ships. Okay, yeah, they didn't have anything heavy. But we sank four of their ships. It's a major victory. Sank a light cruiser, destroyer, two auxiliaries. It's enough. Yeah, there we go. A thousand points. That'll that'll help us out a bit. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I guess we'll name it. Why not? We needed something. We needed something for this war. <laughs> All right. And it looks like two months for the Stephen Walker. And this bleeds us out for two months with condenser trouble. Which makes sense. Okay, 2,000 more. I think because we did that, we got some more prestige and our budget went up. So we're doing that. I'm thinking we go ahead and do normal construction speed on you and resume you. And you start being built. Okay. Yeah, that's about all we can do. Next turn. Yes, they're blockading us as they normally do every other month. No, can't show weakness. We have to keep going. It's been multiple years, but we have to do something. And keep fighting them. We sank another corvette. An enemy submarine torpedoed uh, one of our heavy cruisers, and he's out for five months. Sank another one. We're doing we're doing better when it comes to raiding now. That's 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 because we spread out. A coastal raid, medium. Medium coastal raid. Accept. All right. Heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. We're being quick and dirty here. We're going in, we're striking, we're destroying two things that we find. That's it. Because they are going to have something like uh, battle cruisers or cruise or battleships out here. Unknown ship has been spotted. What is it? See what we got. Would like to know what it is. It's currently unidentified. Battle cruisers. Turn away. Okay. Try and lose them. This direction. We're going to come around here. All right. And that way we want to come under these patrols. There's at least two up here. We come in through here and hit what we can. All right, there we go. Okay, it is getting close to night. Which is good for us because we're lighter as a force. So it'll make their guns a lot less important. Going through here. See what we see all the way down this coastline. Try and sink two things and then get out. It's 
high octane coastal raid. Yep, going to a cruising speed. All right. You have a really good light cruiser in our light cruiser forces. So hopefully that will help. Need to remember there is a 7 inch coastal battery here. Thinking transport, transport. Alright. Okay, we're opening fire. That is a 12 inch coastal battery. Target the merchant. Okay, he has been struck. He is on fire with light damage. He stopped moving just inside the engagement zone. Just outside the engagement zone. Okay, we got some things down here. Let's look like destroyers. Turn up this way. I would like my destroyers to come back here with me. Perform our formation and then begin heading that way towards that small force we spotted. Okay. Light cruiser's picking up some of those survivors. And it should be able to come on the way back. Yep, it's on its way back. And it is a quick little son of a bitch, so it should be able to do that. No problem. Go down through here. That's one down. Just need one more. Go right to the target, see what we see. We kind of do like a wide patrol. Do a pattern across. And back up. All right. Thing at all. Just gotta see across here. Maybe we'll find another patrol. Hell, if we find battle cruisers, we might be able to win with the current uh, weather and uh, visibility situation. Our light cruisers have our light cruisers and destroyers have enough torpedoes. We could put one of those damn things to the bottom of the ocean. I'll stay away from this island who has the 12 inch battery.
Gotta be something out here. Nope. That is a coastal battery. I don't want to deal with it. Let's keep this patrol going. I would like to see something. The time was not the best. Unknown ship. Ooh, close range. Full speed. We had a point blank shot, too. Oh, not getting anything. You need one kill. Just one more kill, that's all we need. Nope, that's a mine. God damn it. Alright, head back up. Let's go to ultra fast. We'll probably just finish out this. Yep, he keeps striking a mine. Yep. That was a minor victory by the French. Damn it. Apparently a whole bunch of stuff over here. Don't even know where the big boys were at. Looks like they all went down south by a lot. Damn. Oh, that's bullshit. Okay. Alright, well, that was that turn. God damn. Now we got one more month, and we'll have a couple of new Corvettes come out, as well as a new battleship. So that's gonna be something. But looking at the time, that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank you for joining me for this episode. If you liked it, please leave a comment down below. Say that like button. If you want to help support the channel, consider the subscribe button down below, as well as take a look at the description down below, where I've links to my Discord and my Patreon page. I'll see all of you in the next episode. Bye!